the first thing we want to do in this video is we want to install tippy.js so we can just say npm i tippy.js that will allow us to add a theme to our tip tap editor as well so with that sorted what we have to go and do now is essentially we need to import in here so what i want to do is up here just go ahead and say import i'm going to say node modules tippy this tippy js css and i want to copy this path over here as well actually sorry we want to copy this resources path over here so we want to go into our tailwind file here and add it in here let's take a look at how this now looks in the browser before and after page all right so inside our articles here we should just be able to see the theme has been fully set up so let's go ahead and make sure we set that fully up so if we go back in here we're adding in this tip tap editor here inside our tailwind config file we want to essentially have this tip tap editor as well so if we go back in here let's go ahead and add that part in sorry this one shouldn't be out of there but we need to add in in the theme here we need to make sure we have the tippy css install and then the tip tap editor which is here so we added the one file in here that's why it didn't work so you can see now we have this theme set up here which looks a bit better and let's just see how it looks in dark mode there you go we have this nice theme set up for the tip tap editor so with that sorted we now have a nice theme where we can just go ahead and drag and drop and it just works like it should do so that's how we essentially set up the theme we just add in this part in here and then we import a theme configuration file for tip tap in this case we're using tippy.js which has a nice theme for it so that's all we need to install a theme here let's go ahead and fix a few other small issues in this application before we head on to working on our page builders so the other issue i want to fix in this video is this white color here on the login page so if we head into our login later php file down here we have all continue with we want to add dark and in this case maybe bg grade 800 and we also want to say dark taste gray 100 just like that that looks a lot better now and it doesn't look as broken but we could go ahead and essentially say in here well we have um a nice divider here but do we want to maybe have a dark bg border gray 700 And the same for the divider up here. So this top element here is actually inside um, the Mary UI, I think, package. So we need to go ahead and add a class or an ID to identify this part here and then we can go ahead and say id or even class um login form if we then head into app the css and here we can then say login form hr and apply border t But for dark, we want to have border gray 800. I think we can leave out this styling here specifically. Let's see if we can find the element still. And for now, it looks like we have this issue here. So. Let's go ahead.
actually I think we can keep this out of the layer but let's go ahead and add this to 500 for now see if we can see it yeah we can perfect so let's add this color to maybe a 900 or the same color as we have in the login page here There we go. So now this looks a bit more consistent. Up to you how you want to modify the colors, but at least it looks a bit more consistent now. So that's all for this video. Thank you very much for watching it. In the next video, we're going to set up the page builder where we're going to start out just having the ability to add content into a page and that that's going to take up a couple of videos from this series. And please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.